Hi class! Subject natin ngayon, General Mathematics ulit, Continuation, Melt, Lesson 1. Ayan. So, objective, determine whether a relation is a function. So, paano natin malalaman kung yung relation is a function or not? So, ayan. Yung left column, lagi, um, function, yung right column, lagi, not a function. So, explain ko kung bakit. So, yung um, left column, ayan, function siya kasi, yung first coordinate. Ang i-check nyo lagi, yung first coordinate o yung domain. So, yung domain yan, 1, 3, 5, unique. Ibig sabihin, umulit. While yung sa kabila naman, 2, tsaka 2. Yan, hindi siya unique. May naulit. Pag may naulit na domain, automatic, not a function. So, kung not function siya, ibig sabihin, relation lang siya. Pero, syempre, ito, yung ordered pair na yan. Di ba relation yan? Pero, what kind of relation? Function. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng function, Ayan, lagi ko arrow. Lahat ng function is relation. Pero hindi lahat ng relation, function. Ayan. So, ito yung explanation dyan. Ayan. So, relation is not a function when an x-coordinate of a point in a set of ordered pairs has at least two y-coordinates. So, ito, 2, 1, tsaka 2, 4. Ayan. So, yung x niya, dalawa yung partner niya sa um, y. So, not a function. Relation lang siya. Example number 2. Ayan. So, ito, equation na yung given natin. So, sir, paano malalaman kung yung equation natin is function or not? So, tinan nyo sa not a function. Ang titinan nyo lang dyan yung y. Ayan. So, alam na mapansin? Yung exponent ng y, even. So, pag yung exponent ng y, even, not a function. Ayan. So, 2, fourths, 8, yan, not a function. Sir, bakit dito sa function may y square naman, even naman yan ah? So, yan ang exception. Pag equal to zero, function yan. Yun lang exception ah. Pag even siya, pero equal to zero, function. Pero pag um, even yung exponent niya, tapos equal to another number, yan, not a function. Yan. So, relation is not a function when y has an even exponent. Yan. So, 2, 4, 8, yung exponent ng y, not a function, except when yung exponent ng y is even, pero naka-equate to zero. Yan. Ito lang yung except. Next. Yan. Ito naman is uh, absolute value. So, parang malalaman. So, pag yung y nasa loob ng absolute value, not a function, except pag naka-equal to zero. Yan. So, ito. Sir, yung y nasa loob ng absolute value, except pag naka-equal to zero, function. Pero pag hindi siya equal to zero, yan, not a function. So, ito yung paliwanag. A relation is not a function when y is enclosed in an absolute value, except when equated to zero. So, pag equated to zero, function yan. Next. Ito naman. So, tinan nyo yun sa right side or right column. So, x equals to negative 5. X equals to negative... Uh, x equals 12. Nasa na si y? Dahil nawawala si y, automatic data function. So, yung left side, exponent ng y odd, exponent ng y odd, tapos wala mo siyang absolute value. Yan, function yan. So, ito yung explanation. A relation is not a function when y is absent from the equation or y is missing. Yan. So, pag ginawawala si y, not a function yan. Okay, next tayo. Next slide. Yan, ito naman. So, ano yung difference ng left column sa right column? Yung left column is may equal sign. So, ang tawag dyan is equation. Yan. Check natin. Yung exponent ng y is odd yan. 1, 1. So, equation yan. Check. Not a function. Yan. Anong tawag sa less, uh, greater than at less than or equal to? Ang tawag dyan in equality. So, pag yung statement natin na naka-inequality, therefore, hindi siya um, function. Yan. So, pag naka-inequality, hindi siya function. So, ito, greater than, ito, less than or equal to. Yan. A relation is not a function when the statement is an inequality. Yan. Pag inequality, automatic, not a function. Okay. Next slide. Yan. Graph. So, sa graph naman, Tignan nyo, dami yung kulay blue na line. So, pag yung kulay blue na line, or ang tawag dyan, vertical line test, pag nag-touch lang, or nag-intersect sa graph natin at one point, kailangan one point lang ah, one point function. Pero pag nag-touch siya ng more than one, not a function. So, kailangan one lang. Touch is only one. Yan. So, a relation is not a function when its graph is crossed by a vertical line in at least two points. So, ito, 2 points yung nag-intersect, so not a function. Ang tawag nga pala dyan is a vertical line test. Vertical line test. 
or VLT. So, pag nakita kayo ng vertical line, or pag sinabi, use vertical line test to show compaction, mag-drawing lang kayo ng vertical line. Okay, next slide. Yan. Next slide. Yan. So, use vertical line. So, use vertical line to determine whether the relation is a function. If not, identify two points on the vertical line would pass through. So, drawing tayo ng vertical line. Pag nadrawing ka ng vertical line dito, kailan any any part ng graph. So, one point lang siya. Pag dito, touches one point. Pag dito, touches one point. Pag dito, touches one point. So, kahit sa nga graph, touches only one point. Eh. Then, kung touches only one point, therefore, yung graph natin is a function. Yan. Kasi kahit some part dyan, touches only one point. Yan. Kailangan one point para masabing function. Yan. Next. So, paano naman dito? So, use vertical line test. So, dito, siguro ano yan, piecewise. So, pinag-drawing ka dito, tsaka visible naman, di ba? Ayan, two points agad, di ba? So, pag meron ng isa na, na hindi nag-agree, yan, so dito, two points din. Pag meron yan, hindi nag-agree, nag-intersect ng two points, automatic, not a function yan. Yan, so, yan, this is, this is not a function, a vertical line at x equals 1 or kahit some point yan, would pass through 1, 1. So, pag ginamit daw natin yung 1, eto yung 1. So, eto 1, coordinate, 1, 1. Tsaka, 1, negative 2. So, pag dyan, or kahit saan dyan, yan, nakukulit yung um, domain. Pag naulit yung domain, automatic, not a function. Diba? Okay, next tayo. Next. Yan. So, dito, um, piecewise na yan. Piecewise na graph yan. So, pag nag-graph, uh, pag nag-gamit ka na vertical line test dito, touch is 1 point. Pag dito, touch is 1 point. Pero pag dito, yan, sa may malaking bilog, yan. So, touch is 1 tsaka 2 points. Therefore, hindi siya function. Kasi nag-intersect nag, uh, ng 2 points. Yan. So, this is not a function. Kasi a vertical line at x equals 1. So, ito yung x equals 1. Would pass 1, 2. Ito yung 1, 2. And 1, negative 2. Ito yan. So, yun nga. Naulit yung domain. So, 1 plus 1. Dahil naulit yung domain, hindi siya function. Ito. Ay, purahin ko muna pala. Ito, given, um, given mapping. So, para malalaman ko alin dito yung function. So, itas mo na. So, pwede nyo mag-partner-partner rin. So, C2, partner niya si A. C2, partner niya si B. Tapos, C2, partner niya si C. So, yan. Kita-kita na agad, di ba? Naulit. Naulit ang first coordinate or naulit yung domain. Therefore, ito, not a function. Yan. Well, itong pangalawa naman, A, kama 2. B, kama 2. C, kama 2. Okay, mga siganti ko makukulit. Sir, naulit yung ano, yung 2, 2, 2. Sabi ko, kailangan tignan lang ang domain. Huwag na makulit. Domain lang ang hindi pwede maulit. So, pag hindi na ulit yung domain or yung domain is unique, then, function. Yan. Yan. Huwag na makulit. Yun lang kailangan nun. So, yan. Ay, po rin ko para mabasa. So, not a function. The relation from the number from the number to letter is not a function because the domain 2 is mapped to the range value ABC. So, si 2, tama niyang partner. Kaya, hindi siya function. Well, the pangalawa, function, the relationship from letter to number is a function because each letter in the domain is mapped to only one number in the range. So, isang letter, isang range. Isang letter, takas sa range. Diba? Kulang na ulit na domain. Yan. Next, ito. Um, determ the, um, determining whether a relation is a function or not. So, letter A. From the items, from the items in a store to their price on a certain date. So, for example, bumili ka ng sardinas. Ang presyo ng sardinas, 10 pesos. Kunyari, ang sardinas, uh, ang pangalan, uh, sardinas. Yan. Yan yung pangalan, kunyari, 10 grams. Ah, 10 grams. Okay, anyway, yan lang yan. Tapos, siyempre, at a certain date, siyempre, yan lang yung presyo yan. Walang, Walang, walang store na nagbibenta ng isang item na kaparehas na magkakaiba ng presyo. For example, presyo ng, ng gantong sardinas uh, din sa unang rank 15. Sa pangalawang rank, ang presyo 20. Sa pangatlong rank, ang presyo ng pares sa sardinas 30. So, magreklamo yung magreklamo yung mamimili sa DTI kasi nga, bakit iba iba ng presyo eh pares lang sardinas yan, di ba? Ibig sabihin, ito letter A is a function kasi walang item na magkakaiba ng presyo at a certain date. Sir, but may certain date. Pero siyempre, malay nyo mag-increase. Diba? So, check natin. Yan. So, there is only one price for each different item on a certain date. The relation from items to price makes it a function. Paano letter B? From types of fruit to their color. Pero siyempre, depende. 
Yan. Pero ito yung given natin. So, for example, ang given natin is an apple. Yan. So, ang given natin, apple. Yan yung ano, given. Yan yung domain. Tapos, siyempre, yung apple, meron siyang dalawang kulay, di ba? Red tsaka green. So, pwede mong i-drawing yan ganito. Apple, yan, meron siyang dalawang kulay, red tsaka green. So, apple red, apple green. Yan. So, pag nilagay mo yan sa ordered pair, pwede apple red tsaka apple green. Since naulit yung first coordinate or yung domain, therefore, hindi siya function. Relation lang siya. Ito, function. Yan. Ito, um, pure relation. Okay. So, kung may question, um, ilagay lang sa comment. Tapos, uh, pakilike kung nagustuhan yung topic. Pakishare kung meron pa ang mga sadyante na kailangan-kailangan ng ganitong lecture. Maraming salamat. Pakaaral na maigi. Bye-bye.